Hello, welcome to the news in brief from PEP about television. My name is Omo Ikayere. First, the headlines. Federal government generates $547 million from 5G ocean, says Buhari. Privatization Council approved $1.371 billion for payment of Sanko's ex-workers' outstanding entitlement. Politicians unhappy with move to block votes by, says INEC. Obaseki signs $321.4 billion 2023 appropriation bill into law and accountant sentenced to 304 years imprisonment for stealing and forgery. Now the details. President Mohamed Buhari has commended the auctioning of 5G spectrum, which generated into $547 million. The president attributed the feat to the digital economy, which had driven growth, created employment, and generated revenue for the country. The report. The president said this at the National Shared Service Center, a one-stop shop for ministries, departments, and agencies to interface with citizens which also houses a cyber security operations center, network center, and call center in Abuja. According to the president, the National Shared Service Center will provide services that are swift, secure, and seamless. Buhari noted that the information, communication, and technology sector, ICT, had accelerated diversification of the economy. He said that the key to gross domestic product report by the National Bureau of Statistics showed the extent of growth with ICT contributing an unprecedented 18.44% to the GDP, close to three times the 6.33% contribution of oil sector in the same quarter. Buhari said he was pleased to unveil and commission a number of initiatives that further express the government's commitment to develop a sustainable digital economy in Nigeria. Favor Percy Idubo, paper about television. The National Council on Privatization, NCP, presided over by the Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo, has approved the sum of 1.371 billion naira redundancy benefits earned the workers of Skyway Aviation Handling Company of Sanko. According to the La Alu Akande, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity Office of the Vice President, said this was in a bed to provide soccer for affected workers since 2009. The report. This was one of the highlights of the sixth meeting of the Council held at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. The Director General of the Bureau of Public Enterprises, BPE, Mr. Alex Oko, during the meeting presented a memo to the Council seeking its approval for the payment of the sum of 1.371 billion naira due to S Skyway Aviation Handling Company PSC workers. The DG also informed the Council of the notice of a peaceful protest received from the Air Circle workers, who are also members of the National Union of Air Transport Employees, NAOTE, and Air Transport Service Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, ASAN, on account of non payment of their outstanding severe entitlements after being disengaged from work from the company following its privatization in 2009. After due deliberations, the council gave the approval for the payment of the severance entitlements of the S workers. In attendance at the meeting were ministers of power, Alaji Abubakar Aliu, Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, the Director General of BPE, Mr. Alex Oko, representatives of Federal Ministries of Justice, heads of relevant MDAs, and other government officials. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INIC, has said that many politicians are unhappy with current efforts by the Commission and security agencies to stop vote buying during the 2023 polls. 
the commission said, though it is not going to be easy to root out the negative influence of money on the elections, it is determined to tackle it. Favor Percy Dubo completes the story. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, disclosed this at a one-day stakeholder summit on addressing the influence of money in the general elections. He said, we fully realize that today's initiative will not go down well with people who may not be committed to the growth of our democracy. We expect them to fight back. INEC boss reiterated that the commission's loyalty is to Nigeria and their allegiance is to Nigerians. Yakubu added that the commission is ready for covert and overt pressure, countervailing actions and even threats by vested interests, urging citizens to reject vote buying. He explained that constant use of money tremendously increased the likelihood of election violence due to a win at all cost mentality among contestants who would have invested a fortune in the pools. Present at the summit were representatives of security and anti-graft agencies, members of civil society organizations, financial institutions, and the media. Favor Percy Idubo, PEP about television. The Edo State Government, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, has signed the state's 2023 appropriation bill, paid at 321.4 billion naira into law after the bill was passed by the Edo State House of Assembly, signing the bill at the government house in Benin City. Governor Obaseki said most of the projects in the budget will be funded from the internally generated revenue, IGR, the report. According to Governor Godwin Obaseki, 2023 budgets will be a watershed following the excellent performance of the 2022 budget, which he said had more than 90% success rating. For the 2023 budget, the governor noted that bulk of the projects will be funded through internally generated revenue in expectation that businesses that are doing well will pay more taxes. The budget for 2023, which we've just signed into law, more of the resources we have earned have gone into saving the people of Edo State to build an infrastructure, whether it is road infrastructure, digital infrastructure, um, electricity, and all the things that people need so that their businesses can thrive. Revenue collection for those who are making money. We know them, we see them, we have the data. So please, we will seek your cooperation. People should come out early, allow them to do the assessment themselves, and pay their appropriate taxes. We believe that we will earn all what we've estimated to earn. We're not relying solely on all receipts from the federal government. We're relying on ourselves, on the state, and on our citizens. And we want to assure those citizens that every cover of tax revenues earned will be spent on capital development. That is what we've done today. We do not spend one cobble of IGR on servicing or running government. Every cobble is, is spent paying contractors for work that is being done. Earlier, presenting the bill to the governor, the speaker at the State House of Assembly, Honorable Marcos Onobun, said the assembly had made a slight upward review from the initial 320 billion naira to ensure equitable distribution of projects across the three senatorial districts of Edo State. Hence, the Edo State House of Assembly approved a total of 321.4 billion naira. Onobu noted that the budget would be sufficient to help the governor achieve the good initiatives for the state. There's a slight increase of about a billion naira, which is cut across the three senatorial districts, about 400 million appropriated to Edo South, uh, 300 to Edo Central, and 300 to Edo North. And we expect that with this, you would have been able to um, achieve all that you aim to achieve and bring about dividends of democracy to our people. Favor Pese Idubo reporting. And finally, from Enugu State comes this report that the Enugu High Court presided over 
by Justice Kenneth Okwe. Her sentence, an accountant with the Federal College of Education, Eha Amufu Emmanuel Sambo, to 304 years imprisonment of forgery and stealing of 34.9 million naira from the account of the office. Sambo, who was convicted after a long trial, which started in 2010, has pleaded not guilty to the 61 count charges brought against him by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, in suit number E slash 5CC 2010. Favor person the book completes the story. The accountant was alleged to have on several occasions forged the signatures of principal officers of the institutions on promissory notes with which he cast monies running into 34 million naira from the college first bank account for his personal use. The principal officers, including the provost, the registrar, and the boss are denied signing checks with which the accused withdrew the monies. The principal officers, including the provost, the registrar, and the boss are denied signing the checks with which the accused withdrew the monies. The EFCC forensic experts who took samples of the principal officer's signatures confirmed that the ones on the checks used in the transactions were forged. The EFCC forensic experts who took samples of the principal officer's signatures confirmed that the ones in the checks used in the transactions were fake. Delivering judgment on the matter, Justice Kenneth Okwe said, based on the weight of evidence before the court, the court had no difficulty in concluding that the accused person personally forged the signatures on the disputed checks or was assisted to forge the documents. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. And from that report, bring to an end the set of our news for today. On behalf of the production team, I want to wish every listener, viewers, watching a Merry Christmas. My name is Omo Ikhayere. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.